How do we cope? Very quickly, you have a metaphorical head, uh, bucket in your head. So when you wake up in the morning, that bucket has got a little bit of stress in the bottom. It has to, it's positive. That bucket is the one that keeps the stress in there that says, if you're not on time at work, you will lose your job. If you lose your job, you're going to starve. And if you lose your job, you're going to lose your house. You might lose your family. You might as well be dead because you are negative, pessimistic and obsessive. So that stress will get you out of bed. When you do get out of bed and the car won't start, your stress starts to go up a little bit. And of course, when you get into work and the supervisor tells you off, then unfortunately, you get a little bit more stress. But when you say to them, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, I've worked for this company for years and I've never been late yet. This is ridiculous. We're falling out about this. This is my first time I've ever been late. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. I've had a bad day as well. That's fine. I've had a bad day. Look, let's just get on with it and we'll be fine. As soon as you do that, the stress goes down a little bit. Then, of course, you get a call from the hospital. And one of your loved ones has been rushed to hospital. They've had an accident. Oh, my goodness me. So now your stress bucket goes straight up. When you get to the hospital, there they are, stood outside. Their paper cut has been treated with a Mr. Man plaster. They think that's really funny that the only plaster they had left was a Mr. Man. Your sense of humour isn't quite up to that level right now. And they say, right, I'm going to take you home. We're going to have a cup of tea. And then, after I've calmed down, we're going back to work. Ah, there's a bit of a problem there. I used the last of the milk on the cereal this morning. Right, so we're going to Sainsbury's, and Sainsbury's have got no milk. (laughs) So now your bucket is completely up to its brim, and somebody hits you with their shopping trolley, and you go absolutely banzai. And the reason you do that, you don't necessarily hit them or shout at them. It might just be that you literally root to the spot. You can feel palpitations in your throat. Your chest seems like it's closing in on you. You can't move. It's a panic attack. It's an anxiety attack. And the, the whole point of that is that your stress levels have reached such a level that you have no capability to be able to deal with it anymore. The capacity to do so has gone. The problem is, is you don't need external stimuli like that to fill your stress bucket up your stress bucket will be filled just by thinking about stuff because your brain knows no difference between imagination and reality and that's where that bucket is situated so the more you think about rubbish the more you put in your bucket the more you do that the less capacity you have to deal with all the problems that go on how do you do something about that you sleep when you sleep at night 20 percent of your sleep pattern is spent in REM Rapid eye movement sleep. And when you sleep, you dream. And when you dream, your dreams are pictures that your brain uses, no difference between imagination and reality, to be able to discharge your problems. So when you dream, you might see a black horse coming across the horizon. I'm sorry, that is not an Italian stallion coming to sweep you off your feet. It's just your brain using that as a metaphorical image to be able to deal with the stresses and strains. And when you wake up the next morning, you will have emptied a bit of your bucket. The problem is, of course, is that if you put too much in your bucket to deal with in the first place, or you're not sleeping enough as a result of your stress levels, your bucket doesn't empty well enough. And so unfortunately, you wake up and you've only got half your bucket left to be able to deal with the rest of the day. If that continues, you get to the point where you've got nothing left, even when you wake up. So you need to be able to think about not putting stress in your bucket, going out there and doing those positive things to fill your day with that rather than the mess in your head and also trying to sleep better.